Hello and welcome to Cooking with My Pickle. Chef Ivan Flowers from beautiful, beautiful, sunny, beautiful San Diego. I'm very, very excited today. For those of you that don't know what a pickle is and how you cook with a pickle, let me show you. She's already grunting. She's grunting. She loves the cheese. My lovely wife, Tracy, behind the camera. This is the pickle. This is one of her favorites. Why is it her favorite? Because it is a smoked ham slider done in a way it's very, very different because we're, it, I'm going to show you. But this is this is one of her favorites, right, babe? Okay, she'll be back. Quick hand wash. <clears throat> Why am I excited about this? Why are you excited about well, this? Well, I'm an East Coast guy. I started cooking with my dad in New York when he had the rendezvous. I've been a professional chef running four five-star restaurants for how many years? Twenty. A lot. <laughs> About 20 years. Um, and I love cooking. And I love teaching technique, which is what this is about. So, let me show you. Now, how did you come up with this idea while you're turning your heat Sitting on? Sitting on the couch. Sitting on the couch, I thought of this. So, I'm going to start to warm my pan on low heat. And I'm going to show you what we're going to do. It's quick, it's easy, and it's a lot of fun. <clears throat> I'm using applewood smoked ham. You just got it at the deli, right? Well, this this ham is the one that we smoked last week. We actually smoked this ham. Oh, all right. That's when we were doing the ribs and the ham. Oh, okay. But you can get it from the deli. Yes. And what I'm going to do... You need to show it. I'm going to. I'm going to cross the two slices. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. In the middle, I'm going to put... Should you put that on top of the cheese? No, goes first. All right. A little bit of minced shallot goes right in the middle. Then pickles. Dill pickles. Chopped dill pickles. Now, if I didn't want to spend the time chopping the pickles, could I use a dill pickle relic? Absolutely. All right. Goes right there. Good old-fashioned American cheese. Melts well. Blue cheese, Taleggio, Brie, truffle cheese, anything that you want. And I'm going to show you, we're going to go on each slice. Mmm, it's going to be very cheesy. Yes. You know how I feel about cheese. You love cheese. I love cheese. You can see, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I can see that. Okay. Are you going to put more on? Yes. So we go on <laughs> each arm of, of the ham. And then we take the second slice. Is there a technical term for um, taking the plastic off American cheese? No, but it can be tricky sometimes. <laughs> Don't let them sit on your board. You'll never get them off. They're like suction cups. Then we're going to put the two slices in the middle. Okay? Nice. Just like that. Then, I'm going to fold it into a pocket. Top side, bottom side. I'm going to make a packet. Tight. Perfect square. I'm going to press that down a little bit, okay? Perfect square. Very interesting. I've made three more. Our pan is getting where it should be. I don't want it too hot. I'm going to go in with a little canola, about a teaspoon. Non-stick pan. Seam yeah. side down or no? You do it the non-seam side down first. Yes, first. It really doesn't matter. It's tight. All right. It's tight. So that you need to make it tight. It is really, really tight. So there's your seam side, and there's your other side. It's like a ham purse. It's like, yes. Very good. <laughs> you can start to let that go. Pickle's hanging out. She's very excited. Good. I like King's Hawaiian. They're wonderful. The sweet roll. Can you use a different roll? Sure. You can use any kind of bread you want. I have a question. Can you yes. do it like on a long baguette? Sure. And make it like fill it with the packet? Sure. Oh, okay. And I'm going to press these down just a little bit. Why? Get a little more surface area. Oh. Since they're high, I'm going to bring them down. I'm going to put them in their place. <laughs> okay? That one's really smushy. Yes. And again, a little press. Them back together. And Why didn't it really respond to your push down? Yes. 
Well, these are teenagers. These are teenage girls, so. These are going to go quickly. Just a little color on them. So Go what's happening board. inside when, when you add this heat? They're going to steam. Just like White Castle hamburgers when they used to put the onions on them and then put the bun and everything steams. These just steam. This isn't just ham and cheese that you warm up or throw in a frying pan. These become delicious and moist and flavorful. And the cheese melts. It, it, it makes a big difference. So that, just, that, that salad was steamed? Yes. There's a simplicity here. And as you can see, Ooh. that's the color that I want. The cheese is already melting. And I'm going to turn them over. Now what I'm going to do is I want this to melt. I'm going to dome it. And that's going to let that cheese melt. Are you leaving melt. the heat on or turning it off? I leave the heat on. What, what heat are you doing in that? Medium. Medium? Okay. Medium. So I'm going to line my rolls up. What am I putting on the top? Are you doing the mustard and mayonnaise? Mustard and whole, uh, whole grain mustard and mayonnaise. It works. So what's the ratio? Did you say like two to one? Two to one. Two, two mayonnaise, one mustard. Go on top. A little bit on top. And a little on the bottom. Yeah, you need it on the bottom too. Oh, we love cool. mayonnaise. I love mayonnaise. Never trust people that don't like mayonnaise. You married a woman before me that didn't like mayonnaise. I divorced my first wife because she didn't eat mayonnaise. <laughs> that is true. Cheese is melting beautifully. What I want to put on this also, tomato. Always remember, salt and pepper are tomato. Why? Why do we do this? It gives it more flavor. It just makes it pop. So a little pepper and then a little kosher salt on the tomato. That simple. These are melting beautifully. I'm turning the heat off. So you're leaving them, are you uncovering them? Yes. Oh, I can see the cheese. Show the pan so they can see this. Oh, look at that. Perfect. Not beauty. Really, really quick, really, really easy. Oh, boy, that looks so good. All that melty, gooey cheese. I'm going right on the roll. Oh, boy. Oh, there's a lot of cheese here, people. It's delicious. And some of the cheese caramelizes in the pan. Mmm, so you which, get that little bit on that sandwich, which right? Capture, yes. And it gives it another dimension of flavor. Okay, let me get this out of the way. And let me get my little Iwatani. So we're doing this live, so this is also a very quick recipe, correct? Yeah, this, is, this is all live. Now, <clears throat> tomato, 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 tomato. A little hand wipe. I'm just going to cover them. Mm. So this quickly lies. So how long do you think you've been, from start to finish, how long do you think this took? 15 minutes. If that. If That's that. Prep. Mm -hmm. If that. Really, really simple. And you want to go on your plate. You just see the cheese. The cheese is just, licking your lips. The cheese is just dripping. Okay. Oh. Now this is the cleanup I want. I'll clean up the melted cheese for you. Here is the, here is the melted cheese, which you can kind of pull to the side. A little white. You have to cut into one. I'm going to. Chefs are anal. So keep it clean. Serrated knife, okay? Why serrated? And what does that mean? Serrated knife is easier to cut. It's really going to get into the bread and it's going to cause you to be able to go through on a soaring motion that the sandwich doesn't fall apart. What makes so, it serrated? Little teeth. Okay, thank little you. Little teeth. Not so, everybody knows. Just a little cut quickly. Pull the knife out. And what you've uh, got. Look at that. Is gooey, little, steamed smoked ham, shallots, the pickles, the mayonnaise with the mustard, the tomato, the, the sweet roll, they are delicious. How do you know? Because we did this yesterday and <laughs> ate all four of them. 
<laughs> so um, you, you can't have any. So I'm not going to have any today. <laughs> um, ate too many of them yesterday. But let's bring pickle in. And I'm going to give her a piece of ham with a little bit of this cheese. Ah, oh, the cheese, Daddy. She loves the cheese. Cheese comes out like a fondue. All right. Let's see how she does. My little pickle. <laughs> you put in your hand first. I'm not care what you. Okay. All right. Here we go. Oh. She loves it. Yeah, this is the best. She loves this it. This is her favorite so far. So, <clears throat> technique, guys. You want to use roast beef. You want to use turkey. You want to use chicken. You want to use habaneros, jalapenos, sausages, different kinds of cheeses, different kinds of bread. Maybe you want to put a little thyme or rosemary in the oil so it gives it a little more flavor. All about technique. You use your imagination. You had a question. Well, could you put like bacon bits sure. inside the packet? Sure. Okay. Sure. Right. So it's that easy. The smoked ham and cheese slider, shallot and pickles, a little mustard on a King's Hawaiian roll with mayonnaise. Cooking with my pickle, Chef Ivan Flowers. I'll see you.